back guys another edition of diy garage we're going to be doing a hard hat painting a hard hat that is to milwaukee we're going to customize this hard hat i've never sprayed candy but we are going to spray candy so the Grant 7 we're using is the Riddle Me Green Candy by Grant 7. A little bit goes a long way, they say. And we definitely won't need much for a hard hat. Probably a tablespoon. And this is the silver. It's HFP 360 4. A heavy flaked silver my local paint store mixed up for me let me get a stir stick it's pretty thick but I can feel all the metallics sitting at the bottom although they're floating around all over the place there's still a lot at the bottom so it's always good to stir and shake when you got a heavy metallic type paint but anyway let's look at it you can see it glistening that's on a stir stick it's not liquid diamond but it is a very heavy metallic And you can just see how thick it is. Watch when I pick it up. Get that string of thickness. That string of thickness. Hit it in the light. Let's go take it to the light. Yeah, man, that's serious. All right, just letting you check out the silver. All right, we're about to go with our first coat of epoxy. We only doing one coat. That was the first coat. Okay, and this is three coats of the silver with a heavy metallic in it. Looks real nice. Atom X little mini 16 laid it down real good per usual. I did a couple spray out cards of the silver. Um, I think I'm going to just lay straight candy on one and then candy with the gold pearl in the other. We're going to use that pearl there. So we'll see how it looks uh, between each spray out card and see which one I like better. All right, I'll cut you back on in a minute. Okay, so it, it looks dark but when you put the mixing stick in it. It's really about that color. So I'm gonna do a test run with just this like this. 
I'm gonna pour a little bit in this cup and mix this with the pearl to see how it looks. So let me do that and I'll cut you back home. So I've mixed a little bit of the um, pearl in here. I just used my fingers, took a little bit out. You can tell how that looks to how that looks with no pearl in it. So let's see if it'll show up on the stick. Um, you really can't tell, but it's in there clearly. So let me do the spray out cards and then I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so can you guess which one got the pearl in it? If you guess this one, you're right. Let's look at it under some light. And that's just one coat of candy. So that's that's the one coat. And that's the one coat with the pearl in it. So all it would do from here is just get darker. Okay. So I think I like the one with the pearl in it. Versus the one without the pearl. So I think we'll go with that. Okay, so this is our first coat of candy with the gold pearl. Okay, this is at the four coats of candy. I'm trying to shine some light on it so you can see. Looks good. It looks real good. The camera doesn't do justice for how the color looks. But this is a really nice color. It's real deep and green. I'm sure the camera doesn't show that. Lay down nice. I did pretty good for my first time spraying candy. But yeah, let's let that dry, then we'll slap some clear on it. Okay, this is three coats of clear. Really only needed to do two. But got a sag right there. And got a sag right there. So fortunately, it's on the inside of the hard hat. So it's really not too too big of a deal. You won't see it anyway. The actual sweatband on the front is gonna cover that up anyway. Okay guys, we back. It's actually been about three days. I had to, uh, really let that clear on the other side dry up before I put some tape on it. Since the solvents were still escaping um, and we had a mishap over here on this side where it got, it. I had a run. So then I had to sand the run out, apply some one part glaze and putty to uh, flatten it all back out, sand it. Then I just put a light coat, the primer on it. That's why you can kind of see the red from the one part glaze and putty. But it's been covered up with primer and it's absorbed the primer. So the base shouldn't be affected. It was actually a chemical reaction which caused the uh, run and bubbling. So had to fix that, but we're all fixed. It's all smooth now, as you see. So let me get the base mixed up. We'll get going.
Okay, so that's three coats of silver. As you see, the red spot covered. I don't know why I got this dry look in the silver. Uh, hopefully when I spray the candy, it'll brighten it back up. But you see how it's dry looking? But right there it's not. I'm not too sure what that's about, but hopefully when we spray the candy, which will be four coats, it'll bring the glisten back. It's pretty strange. So I'm still learning as I spray candy and silver, so we'll see what happens. So I'll turn you back on when I get started. All right, guys, this is four coats of candy with the gold pearl. I can already tell you this side is lighter than the inside of the hard hat. That's why it's best to make one whole batch when you mix your paint, when you're dealing with candies or pearls or mixing colors. But due to it being the inside, it don't make a difference because you can't see it. Um, you can't tell the difference from the inside to the outside when you're actually wearing it. So it's not a big deal, but I know for future reference, just make one batch to where the paints will match. But came out pretty good. You really can't see the pearl in it. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Not sure. But once the clear go on it, all of it should really pop. Um, so stay tuned. We'll get the clear mixed up after this dry and flash and start clearing this bad boy.